Alright guys, it's Charbox Reviews coming at you guys with my monthly TV recap for the month of March. Alright, so now this is my uh, second monthly wrap-up uh, or recap of, uh, of TV. Uh, so I did one for February uh, last month and hopefully I'll be doing these uh, every single month uh, for the rest of the year. Um, and, you know, breaking down uh, what TV shows I watched and then in terms of episodes, right, how many I watched. And then what I like to do is rank uh, those, those episodes, right? So I put it uh, into top five episodes of the month, my worst three episodes of the month. And then I also want to highlight some performances, so I'll do a best actor and best actress from that month in television. So, of course, all of this is just based off of what I watched this week. There's a lot of stuff that I missed. And uh, to be honest, I didn't, you know, I would have liked to see some more stuff this month. Um, I watched less TV this month than February, um, which I didn't expect going into it because there's a lot of great shows that were coming out in March. Um, and... Just a really busy month to, uh, for, for me personally, and so I didn't really get to watch uh, as much as I wanted to. But April, I hope to change that. I want to check out some more Netflix stuff uh, coming in April. There's some big ones coming, and then also some other shows I'm really looking forward to as well. But anyways, I'd love to get your guys' thoughts on what you watched in March. What were your favorite, uh, you know, series or episodes, you know, whatever you want to... Um, you know, kind of recap in your own way, right? And and uh, kind of, you know, let me know what you were watching. Um, I know The Walking Dead is big and, uh, you know, a few other ones that were, uh, that kind of dominated the, the March landscape of TV, if you will. Um, so yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys were watching and what you're looking forward to in April too. Um, you know, really, really uh, interested in that. And of course, then I'll talk about uh, my April shows uh, with the April monthly recap then. So... Anyways, guys, uh, a couple qualifications, though, before I get into this. So, The Twilight Zone Season 1 uh, premiered on April 1st. So, technically, uh, I am including it within this March uh, TV wrap-up this month uh, because I just felt like that was fair, especially given that I'm only doing this recap on April 4th. And so, I felt like this was appropriate to include this one in the March uh, recap. And I'll still... Uh, I'll... I'll um, sorry still have three or four episodes of Twilight Zone to talk about in April, right? Um, so to me, I, I thought it was fair to include both of those. Um, so that would be my only qualification here. So here are the TV shows I watched uh, for the month of March, right? So The Walking Dead, season nine, right? Five episodes from The Walking Dead uh, this month. Whiskey Cavalier, season one, uh, only watched one episode and uh, gave my review for that one, uh, which was episode two. Uh, what We Do in the Shadows, season one, the pilot came out uh, this March and, uh, you know, watched that one. And then, of course, the last uh, two episodes here are the Twilight Zone uh, episodes, the season one premiere, uh, which was episode one and two released at the same time uh, as as this premiere for the series. So all in all, total episodes for March was nine. So last month was 15, right? So kind of lacking here a little bit, but hopefully April, uh, I'll, I'll be able to check out some more stuff. But yeah, so nine episodes, uh, you know, that I watched this month in television. And I do have my review for every single uh, one of these episodes on the channel. Um, so if you're interested in those, for sure, uh, check those out. But all right, so now let's get into a ranking uh, system of some of these episodes so top five episodes of the month for me let's start off with number five number five for me was the walking dead season nine episode 13 choke point uh and you know i thought this episode I, I, okay let's do fourth right uh i'm trying to think in my head but anyways this is probably the fourth best episode of season nine in my opinion um had one of the best fight scenes that we've seen uh, in a while right on the show with daryl and beta um, so your fans of The Walking Dead, I think a lot of, uh, this one was kind of more entertaining than a lot of the other episodes in season nine. And, you know, I, I thought it was definitely a good episode. There were some problems with it, uh, here and there, but overall, I think the enjoyment factor, uh, was there where, where it wasn't, um, you know, so much there, uh, in other episodes. So anyways, that would be my number five, uh, for this month. Number four is The Twilight Zone, Season 1, Episode 2, Nightmare at 30,000 Feet. So I just did my review for this one on the channel, so this one's really fresh in my mind. Um, I like this one a little bit better than the first episode. I thought Adam Scott gave a great performance in this one. Um, and just the whole concept and themes that they're working with in this one, I felt like... Um, you know, I think, I think they worked well, and I think they were able to convey that a little bit better in this one than the first episode. Uh, it was also kind of a bigger concept with some more stakes involved, and so there, I think, uh, is another reason why I kind of like that one better. Um, 
But, you know, I mean, within these rankings, right, <laughs> some of these episodes are very close. Um, and it's very hard to compare a Twilight Zone episode to The Walking Dead. And so in that, I'm just kind of trying my best uh, and really just ranking the over enjoyment of, of what I saw. And and that's, uh, you know, with the, with the Twilight Zone there, uh, really enjoying the uh, premiere. I, I really did enjoy it, and I, I like the, the way that they're going with it. So I'm looking forward to the rest of season one for sure. Uh, number three on the list is what we do in the shadows season one episode one pilot um this was so so great i mean i had some pretty high expectations going into it uh and i haven't seen the movie right and i did i haven't seen the movie going into it and so i think a lot of um you know i kind of my expectations were kind of misled maybe but i this episode really came through for me um i knew what kind of they were going for with this one of the vampire kind of comedy horror uh genre and they the, the balance between comedy and horror is maybe the best thing about this show and this pilot uh i thought it was awesome really funny stuff so number three is uh what we do in the shadows and if they can build off of that pilot and and keep going with that kind of um you know pacing, uh, theme, tone, and all that stuff that they did really well, I think we're in for a great season uh, of what we do in the shadows on FX. Number two is The Walking Dead Season 9, Episode 12, Guardians. This is my third favorite episode of Season 9. Um, I thought it was really great. This was really the first true introduction of the Whispers, where we actually saw them where they live. We got introduced to, you know, a beta, right, uh, with Ryan Hurst. Uh, one of my favorite performances. Not the best, but one of my favorite of the month. Um, he was great. And so, you know, we get a little bit more insight into Alpha, Beta, and the Whispers, and all that. And I thought this episode uh, was really well done in that aspect. Um, you know, there were a couple other things that I didn't, you know, love. Uh, but no episode is perfect. And I thought, like... Um, or sorry, I felt like this one, um, you know, it was was pretty good, and and again, qu quite entertaining, right, with all the whisper stuff. So um, that was great. Also, quite gruesome at times as well. All right, so number one for the month of March, this was kind of a no-brainer for me. It's The Walking Dead season nine, episode fifteen, "The Calm Before." Um, so a huge episode, right? That's probably going to change the landscape of The Walking Dead going forward, at least for the next season. Um, a massive, massive episode uh, that resulted in uh, 10 characters' death, uh, character deaths, uh, maybe even more that we didn't see on screen, uh, technically. Uh, and, you know, just a very impactful episode. And I thought the rest of the episode shouldn't even be discounted. I mean, it really does get discounted because of the kind of shock value that the, fin the, the finale of the episode has, the ending of it. Uh, but the rest of the episode was done very well, I think, is, uh, you know, also. And... Yeah, I, I just think it's it's second best episode of season nine for me. Uh, Rick's episode is obviously number one. Um, but yeah, and it was a big episode going in, right? I think we all had our expectations going into it, and I think they were pretty well met uh, with this episode. And like I said, changing the landscape for The Walking Dead for possibly years to come, but at least the next season for sure in how these whispers and the survivors uh, interact and probably what leads to the, uh, the war that's going to break out in season 10. So really loved that episode. All right. Now let's go to my worst three episodes of the month. And to be honest, this category was a little bit harder to select than the top five. Um, just because I only had nine episodes, remember? So, what, like, almost all of the episodes had to be used in these rankings. And that made it a little bit more difficult to do these worst three. So, anyways, bear with me here. So, number three of my worst episode of the month is The Twilight Zone. Season one, episode one, The Comedian. And this is why I said that point. is because this episode was not that bad. I actually quite enjoyed this episode, even though I liked episode two a little bit better. Episode one was still enjoyable for me, and I, I kind of, you know, I liked the tone that they were setting. There were some things wrong with it. I think it was a really kind of too long um, of an episode, but uh, I really did like it, and so it's a little bit tough to put this on our worst list for the month, uh, but it is what it is. So anyways, uh, the comedian uh, is on there, and some great performances in that one as well. Um, for sure. So, number two, The Walking Dead Season 9, Episode 16, The Storm. Um, this was kind of tough as well to put on here because it wasn't a terrible episode. It just was a little bit lackluster for a finale episode. It felt more like an Episode 11 or Episode 12 of The Walking Dead, which typically are filler episodes, right? It, you know, more or less, right? Uh, we're, we're not kind of focused on the main plot, but we're developing characters and kind of getting ready for the finale. This is what that felt like, and I didn't love... Sorry, I love the, the, what they were going for with the storm and the way it actually did look visually, but the way they got there and kind of the contrived plot lines in this episode really kind of irked me a little bit. Um, and so it, it would probably be... 
you know, uh, it's probably up there with some of the the worst finales uh, of of any season for The Walking Dead. It may even be number one in, on that list. But episode 15 was a big, big episode. And so I, I kind of went into this one expecting something like this. And that's kind of what it turned out to be. So anyways, there you go. My number one worst episode of the month. And this one is not hard to pick. Uh, it's Whiskey Cavalier Season 1, Episode 2, The Checklist. Um, this is where I t- uh, tuned out of the Whiskey Cavalier series. Um, I, d- I do want to you know go back and watch a couple more episodes of it, to be honest. Um, but Episode 2, the pilot was so good. And I got tricked again. I, I, I watched the pilot. I say I you know said in my review, too. This is a really creative spin on a well-known genre, right? This is, you know, really kind of unique. And then episode two, it all fell apart. And they started taking themselves seriously, trying to develop drama and, and all this stuff. And it just really fell apart for me. So that would be my worst episode of the month. Um, like I said, I do want to go check back on Whiskey Cavalier. But for me right now, that's kind of where I stand on that one. Um, Pilot was was way better. It was just worlds better than the episode two. And uh, it's a bit disappointing in that uh, for Lauren Cohen and Scott Foley. Love them both. Um, you know, I think they were great in uh, Scandal and The Walking Dead, respectively. Um, and, you know, just unfortunate to see this uh, this series kind of, uh, you know, kind of go downhill. But it is what it is. So those are my rankings for the episodes. Now let's get to best performances of the month. So best actress, I'm going to go with Denai Guerrera, uh, who plays Michonne in The Walking Dead. Um, she was great. I mean, she had kind of a spotlight episode, and I would say that's my main reason uh, for her getting this best actress of the month for me, it's because of the spotlight episode with episode 14 of The Walking Dead season 9 this uh, this month. Um, she was great in that. And I mean, I think that episode itself uh, kind of sealed the deal for her uh, in this regard. Uh, she was great as always. Um, and, you know, she's she's going to be leaving The Walking Dead in season 10, so I'll have to see how that goes uh, for her character. But yeah, Denai Gurr is awesome. Um, and, you know, obviously I think her career is going <laughs> to go up and up and up from here, uh, even probably up from Marvel and, and The Walking Dead, right, where she's kind of been for the last few years. Um, she is a really bright future, and uh, and so it's great to see. But anyways, uh, I thought she gave Brace performance there. Uh, best actor for the month, I got to give it to Norman Reedus, uh, who plays Daryl. Um, he was great. Daryl has been turned into kind of a whole new character in season nine, and I love it. I love what they're doing with them. And he said this was his favorite season, and you can really see why. I mean, this is a huge kind of turning point for the character of Daryl in the series, um, where he's actually talking again, right? And he's having meaningful dialogue with other characters. Um, and, you know, that's something new that we haven't seen quite from that character in a, in a, bit, uh, sorry, in a bit. So, um, anyways is what it is, uh, and Norman Reedus is awesome, right, uh, he, he really is awesome, I, I would believe that I think this is one of his best seasons of acting, uh, for the show as well, I think it really does, um, you know, I think it does show that he enjoyed this season, and that he had so much fun with it, um, in his performance, I really do, so, anyways, guys, that'll just about do it there for my monthly wrap-up, um, again, love to hear your guys' thoughts. What did you watch in March? What did you love in March? What did you hate, right? Um, I know some of you checked American Gods. I didn't check that one out, um, for season two, but if you watched that, let me know what you thought of that one. Um, and, you know, watch The Walking Dead. Let me know what you thought of the, uh, second half here and all that. And also, what are you looking forward to in April, right? Uh, there's some big, big shows, Game of Thrones, Killing Eve, um, you know, a lot of big shows coming up in April and, Really look forward to see what you guys uh, are excited for. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this monthly recap video. And uh, hopefully I'll be back for, uh, you know, April. Uh, so it'll probably be like May 1st, 2nd, 3rd, somewhere in there um, to recap uh, April's April's month of TV. And I hope I get to watch a little bit more. But anyways, again, thank you guys so much for watching this one. And we'll see you in my next video. They have no use for your song. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead and out of this world.